Hi everyone. So this is the instructions for the TV slash video activity for the kinematic chapter. I'm going to show you a quick video clip and I'm also going to do some math behind it. I'm actually going to pull up a map and show you how far the people go in the clip. I'm also going to look at the timestamps and see how fat, uh, how much time it took. And from there, I'm actually going to figure out how fast they move in this movie. And we're going to talk about if it's a little realistic or totally fake. For this assignment, you guys are going to pick a clip from your favorite TV, show, movie, or stream of a video game. Yes, I do mean Fortnite, if you guys want to find a Fortnite video. Your job is to do what I do and try to use Google, look up values, watch the video and get the timestamps. And your goal is to find two things. Or well, one of two things. The speed, if you could figure the distance and time. Or the distance, if you can figure out the speed and time from your videos. And once again, like many other things we're doing, all this stuff will be submitted on Google Classroom, and in this case, through Google Forms. Here, we have a video clip from the classic Disney movie, Aladdin. If you're not very familiar with Aladdin, you totally got to see it. It's full of great songs from before you were born. In this particular case, um, the lady on the screen, her name is Jasmine, and the hand you see on the screen belongs to this dude, Aladdin. So what's going to happen here is Aladdin is going to take Jasmine on a very, car uh, very nice and romantic carpet ride across the world. So sit back and enjoy the next 2 minutes and 34 seconds of pure bliss. Wasn't that so lovely? Um, that was beautiful. It just gets me really close to the heart. I actually want to go back a moment, and I'm going to try to pull up a little clip here. Obviously, once again, they're doing something very fancy over here. They're flying around, and it's looking all pretty. Okay, But I want you to actually notice something. For you folks who are good at geography, they are actually about to arrive in Egypt. Um, there's going to be three pyramids on the screen in a moment. Those pyramids are from Giza, the pyramids of Giza. 
Sorry, I messed that part up a little bit here. So they're about to arrive in Egypt. They're at the Pyramids of Giza. Ooh, look, the Pyramids of Giza. And I want you to notice right now, at the minute 40 second clip, they are currently in Egypt right now. So I'm going to keep on going a little bit with this movie. And there's the Great Sphinx right next to the Cairo, uh, in Cairo, next to the Pyramids of Giza. And, uh oh, that's not good. So they're going to keep on flying because they're just going to keep on flying and singing together. La 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 la. Ooh, do you guys know what that is over there in the corner? This actually tells me that they're in Greece right now. They're in Athens, Greece. That's a building called the Parthenon. It was very big in ancient Greece. And I want you to notice also, it is now the 1 minute and 58 second part of the movie. So what exactly does that mean? They went from Cairo to Athens in under 20 seconds. And you guys may think Cairo and Athens, well, they're not entirely far away, but here's where it's going to get really crazy. I actually pulled up Google Maps and I actually searched where the Great Pyramids of Giza is, and in this case, the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. And according to Google, it would take one hour and 50 minutes to fly directly from Giza to the Parthenon. I'm also using Google, and I'm actually pulling it up. And I'm just going to screw it down a little bit. It's over just under 700 miles between Athens and Greece. I'm sorry, Athens and Egypt. That's pretty crazy. So here's some data I can I couldn't conclude from watching the video and looking up some values. So I know from looking at a map that there's 694 miles covered in this little clip. I also look at the timestamps and know that actually 18 seconds has actually gone by. And for because 18 seconds, even though we can relate to it, um, it's not exactly easy to relate to when you talk about speeds. 18 seconds is roughly a third of a minute, 0.3 minutes, which is 0 0.005 hours. So really not a lot of time at all to go from Athens to Cairo. I have the equation speed is distance over time, and I'm curious to know how fast was Aladdin and Jasmine going. So I have my given information. I have my equation, and are you ready for this? I'm going to do the math now. 694 miles divided by 0 .005 hours. Believe it or not, Aladdin and Jasmine went 138,800 miles per hour. For the record, that's faster than anything has ever gone on Earth. 138,800 miles per hour. That is definitely a world record. Definitely for a whole new world, you get it? Ha ha ha, that's a joke. It's okay to laugh. Obviously, Jasmine and Aladdin weren't wearing even seat belts. Their hair wasn't getting messed up. Um, they weren't falling off the carpet. So this clearly, clearly, clearly is not a realistic speed at all. So once again, where you actually come in is you guys get to pick a clip from your favorite TV show, movie, or a stream of a video game. It could be a funny scene, it could be a serious scene, just as long as it's school appropriate. And when school appropriate, we mean, would you be willing to show the principal your video? Okay, so please be careful about what's actually on it. Use resources like Google, uh, define values, so if you have a building in real life, you could look at how big the building is, um, things of that nature. If there's a football field, you can actually look and see where you are in the football field, things of that nature. And your goal is to calculate the speed or the distance, depending on what information you're given. And once again, please submit everything on Google Forms so that we can save some trees. Good luck with your video activity.